Welcome back to the lecture 3. We have discussed about GUI in previous lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss about GUI which is a cockpit. A cockpit is a web-based interface for Linux servers with a friendly interface where you can manage storage, networking, firewall and containers. Please follow the steps to install. Now we have to check internet connection first. To check connection, we have to type nmcli space d. Now our internet is running. Now we have to check the DNF. If not installed, we have to install DNF. To install DNF, we have to switch to root because root is a super user. To install root, we have to type yum install DNF. Uh huh. Says the package already installed. If package already installed, we have to move forward. Now we have to install the cockpit. Now we can install cockpit with the help of DNF. We have to type DNF install cockpit. C O C K P. Cockpit installed. So we have to start the socket. To start the socket, we have to type system CTL space start cockpit dot socket now the cockpit dot socket is started now we have to enable now to enable we have to type system ctl enable space hyphen hyphen now space cockpit dot socket our command is now we have to check the status to check the status we have to type system ctl status cockpit dot socket to check the status of cockpit if enable or not now it's uh, says the it's the active so it means enabled now we have to uh, control and see press so we got yes we get out of commands so we have to now enable firewall if firewall is enabled it will show you the error or warning if not your firewall will be enabled to enable firewall we have to type firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen 8 hyphen service equals cockpit so as I told about we got an error because firewall is already enabled now we have to reload firewall firewall space uh -huh, hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen reload so it will show this now we have to install the machines using DNF we have to type DNF stall cockpit machines type dnf space install space cockpit hyphen machines space enter now press y now we will install the package and we Congratulations, our installation is completed. If you are with me, now you can continue to open the browser. You have to close the windows. Now open browser. You can see the browser in the bar. Open type in the browser's URL localhost colon 9090. It will take you now. We haven't created the user. To create the user we have to go to the terminal again open up the terminal and type the add user name the user now i am giving the user one our user is created now we have to give the password to the user if you want to but to check the users if exist or not we have to type get ent group now we have the user one already created now start the password for this user we have to type p a w s w d space the user one name of the user 
now press enter make the password i am giving the password as password now our password is set it now we have to go to browser again now we have set the name of the user one and password as password now login congratulations we have completed the GUI now we can check the storage networking and virtual machines